Hello. Well, we're going to use synthetic division to solve this. But first, we have to find the possible rational roots, which are all the factors of 12 over all the factors of the lead coefficient, which is 1. So we're going to get plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 6, and finally, plus or minus 12. Now we set up our synthetic division with the coefficients up there. It's going to be 1, negative 1, 7, negative 7, 12, and negative 12. And I'm going to use 1 for the first one, the first possible rational root we use. So I bring down the 1. I get 1. So this is 0. This is 0. I get 7. This is 7. I get 0 again. So I get a 0 here. I get a 12 here. And I end up with the remainder of 0. That tells me 1 is one of my zeros. So we'll put that one up here. Now we're going to use these numbers for synthetic division. And let me see which one works. just so I don't spend the whole time doing that. And we'll try one again. I'll try one again just to make sure it doesn't work. So now we'll try negative one. That doesn't work. We'll try two. That doesn't work. Try negative two. That's no good. Try three, no. Try negative three, no. Try four, definitely doesn't work. Try negative four, no. Try six, ooh, that's bad. Negative six, that's not good. 12, well, I'm guessing negative 12 won't work either. So let's see what I got here. I got x to the fourth plus 7x squared plus 12. Okay. Well, this will factor. I'm going to set that equal to 0. I get x squared plus 3 times x squared plus 4 equals 0. OK. I set those factors equal to 0. We get x squared equals negative 3. That means x equals plus or minus square root of negative 3, which x equals plus or minus i square root of 3. Then we do x squared plus 4 equals 0. I get x squared equals negative 4. x will equal plus or minus the square root of negative 4. x equals plus or minus 2i. So I've got five roots here, but I only have one zero. So the only place that graph goes through the x-axis is when x equals 1. Okay, I get five answers like I should from the degree of 5, but 
four of my answers are imaginary, so they don't go through the x axis. So the only zero we get is one. 